What's going on YouTube? Back again with another video. Uh, today is today is June 6th. So this is uh, June's uh, shield box. So let's let's get right into it. So so far I've been liking all, all of them. Um, last month I kind of had mixed feelings with um, with the shield box. Like I liked it and I didn't, but um, yeah. So we will see what's in this one if I can get the bloody thing open. There we go. Get my keys out of the way here. Alrighty. So the first thing is the ASP Pro AA Duty Flashlight. I'm not going to read the whole thing. You guys can read it there if you if you want to. Sorry for that. So let's see here. I'm assuming this is the, yep, okay. So this is the flashlight. Pretty heavy box. You can kind of see how it looks inside. Got mode switch, intermediate, locked. Double tap. I'm not sure what that means. So I keep forgetting the camera's actually like right here. Because I'm using my phone. Uh, Pro double A. My guess is it's double A batteries, water resistant, two meters, impact resistant, beam distance 160 meters, runtime two hours, and light output. 305 lumens. So it looks like here it has a uh, like a pocket clip. You can't really see it. And there we go. <laughs> In the reflection. That's a thick box. So come with uh, comes with AA batteries and nice nice plastic case. So that right there for a moment. Set that aside. Looks like you uh, have your book booklet. We'll uh, we'll look at that in a in a minute. Set this box off to the side. So yeah, it comes in a really nice, a nice case. See so that they're stitched embroidery right there. Asp. Is there anything else inside? Nope, just the logo again. Oh, this feels nice, you know. I mean, not great, but it's definitely sturdy enough to put multiple things in. So, okay. So it looks like this is, uh, the clip is made out of plastic. They have a screw there. I'm assuming you can take that, take the screw out and take that whole piece out. a tail switch uh, electronic tail switch oh interesting it's like a hidden button and I'm not sure what that's for but we'll, we'll figure all this out here in shortly pro double a looks like it has a yeah, the off and on valve. Oh, let's 
Let's see. I'm just constantly get, guessing at this. I guess I should just plug it in and figure it out. <laughs> so, put the case here. Um, it does have a light, a uh, small instruction. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. Right. Right there. It's so hard to see. But anyways, it uh, tells you exactly how far you need. Oop, that zoomed in too much. Um, yeah, it just tells you where to put the batteries. Apologize, guys. I am not a very good talker when it comes to stuff like this. Okay, so it looks like it has three modes. So we'll figure out what those do. There's mode one with a solid bar. Okay. Not sure what that does. Oh, okay. Interesting. Huh. Okay, cool. Okay, so when it's directly right in the center there, you cannot turn it on. If you turn it to the solid bar here, you just click and just click it and it turns on. But if you turned it to this bar here where it shows a small circle, um, it's only temporary press. You cannot hold it down. That's pretty neat. I'm really curious to see what these here are. Not sure. Hmm. Okay. Interesting, so it's like a mode switch. So from low, medium, high, and then strobe. Then, you can technically slide that back. Interesting. So this, as soon as it touches that, so it's bright also, it's low, and strobe. That is a very interesting way of doing that. Hmm, okay, cool. So let's uh, read the instructions here. Um, I want to look at all the modes here. Fla okay, hold on. Flashlight clip. Clip not may be attached to either the bezel or the switch end. Uh, I'll have you guys read that if you want to. that. Flip it over to the main side here. I'll slowly scroll through it. Actually, let's, let's do this. There we go. That's a lot better. Oops, got to get in view there.
Yeah, okay, and I'll do that on the other side real quick again. Sorry about that. You guys really don't need to see the ASP designs here only because it's just a warranty but so yeah alrighty well um so far I'm liking it of course uh, I'll be testing it out the rest of the week well the rest of the month I should say um, upsides it seems like it's all made out of metal um, except for the tail switch and this could be aluminum here maybe mm. no this is plastic okay so the tail end switch is definitely plastic this I believe is plastic this here definitely feels like metal this definitely feels like metal and this is plastic so but yeah so I was right you take that screw out and then you can apparently adjust it from this side to this side so that's that's kind of cool um, yeah so I definitely like uh, it kind of has a beveled edge see right there all beveled edge I have to say it's about oh a little less than a quarter of an inch distance between uh, the top bezel and the actual glass. But yeah, I mean, it feels nice, nice and sturdy. I'll definitely be I'll definitely be checking that out. So, um, next product or next part is the ASP Thin Blue Line Handcuff Key. Right there, and actually, um, in I believe April was it March. It was February or March, that's when we had gotten the uh, handcuffs. I was actually thinking on getting a secondary key. I was really thinking about it, but now I'm, uh, I'm actually kind of glad I'm getting this one. So I don't have to, well, spend the money on it. <laughs> so there it is. So a uh, double lock pin, uh, blue line brand, pocket clip. Mm, I can't read that. Narclid grip, aluminum body, stainless steel shaft, um, exclusive speed flag. Yeah, very cool. Blue line clip key. Well, uh, let's open that up there. I mean, obviously, we already know what this is. It's for your handcuffs. But very, very strong clip. Metal clip. That is, that is impressive. I can't even open it. At least not with my fingers. So, oops. And now I'm just making a fly. So I find it interesting that, um, that they actually put this at the at an angle. I'm, you know, they didn't put it like straight up and down from the clip or completely the opposite. And I mean, I can kind of see why, because if it's in your pocket, you really don't want it jabbing you from each side if the pocket clip is there. But I'm sure I could probably turn that clip piece around. Maybe, who knows. Um, then it's just a little blue line. Um, piece of plastic there but yeah awesome um, next
next thing is the rip packs. I'll show you that right there. So it looks like it's a some kind of a drink or uh, some type of food item. Rip pack. All right. So it looks like it is a. Uh, a bam partial of a bamboo toothbrush with some type of fiber ink there. Got two packs of something here. Um, each one of these apparently is one gram. Let's open it up. I actually might just keep them in here as soon as I get done with this because Actually, might be a great little travel travel thing. I'm sorry, guys, if you cannot see that. I'm so sorry. I might just try to read it like that. Uh, the original single serving self activating teeth cleaning powder. Dental hygiene is crucial in all walks of life. Whether you're leaving in the gym, going to work, going on a date, <laughs> yeah, uh, adventure, or traveling the world, uh, Rip Pack is covered no matter your climb or place. Um, use the code Join the Pack in all caps to get 15% off your first order and subscribe to RipTac monthly to get even better deals and discounts. And there, there it is. Okay, cool. So, let's, uh, let's take these out here. Sorry guys, I don't have the camera set up very well. Like I said, it's my phone I'm recording it from. So, so, rip, clean, and go. So, this must be like a toothpaste like substance. It's a powder, but I'm sure if it mixes with your saliva. And my guess is this is the same stuff. This is a little stiffer here. But it's all kind of in one area. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, so it looks like it's a, you can use these powders um, at least once. Um, surprisingly, these one ounce packets here are actually quite big for as much powder as there is in them. I'm sure if you really wanted to save these, you could actually make it four trips instead of two. You know only use half of it just by how much powder it fills there's in here so yeah cool I'm really excited about that I might try them try them out maybe Saturday Friday or Saturday and I will definitely tell you guys what I think and these here just feel like normal bristles, soft bristles. Actually, I wouldn't consider them soft. They're not hard, they're not soft, but they're, I'd say if you bought a toothbrush that had medium size feeling bristles, that's exactly what it feels like on a bamboo stick. <laughs> so, cool, very, very cool. I'll uh, tell you everything that I think of about all these later on. All right. Next one is the North American Rescue Survival Blanket. Let's see if I can get that there. You guys can read that. Since I am terrible at reading. So let's see if we can find a blanket in here. Oh, there we go. 
Yep. The survival blanket from uh, North American Rescue. I actually really like these. I actually have a few of them. Um, it does not hurt to have in your bag. Because you'd be surprised. These things that surprisingly come in handy. Um, if you're trying to start a fire, I know this is going to sound weird, but if you're ever trying to start a fire, the stuff melts and it just catches pretty quick. Which is a little scary, but, um, well, when you need it, you need it. I wouldn't say it catches on quick. It takes a while. It's, it's more like a fat burner. <laughs> I shouldn't say it burns quickly. I am, I am so sorry about that. Um, also great if you're trying to send a signal to somebody and you're lost and you don't have a signal, any, anything to signal an airplane or anything like that, this one is great. Um, also great if you're out in the sun and you need it to not beat on you or rain or if you're cold, like this stuff is just, I wouldn't say it's a miracle, but it's, it's pretty close. Especially when you're out, out in the middle of nowhere. So, awesome. I'm glad to see that. And then, last but not least, the March M-A-R-C-H card from Rescue Essentials. That's, uh, and they're saying that this is the bonus. And then there's a, there's a bar scan there, if you guys want to, I'll try to study it here. There we go. I'm assuming that's just for a shield box. So we will look at that. I'm assuming that's what this is. Rescue Essentials, yep. March Rescue Essentials. Let's, uh, let's zoom that in. Um, massive hemorrhage and stop the bleeding. One direct, well, I'm not going to read all this to you, but, um, actually, I know, I'll just, uh, I'll just show you guys. So, every month I'm trying different videos out and seeing what you guys like the most. If you guys like me to talk a lot, like I did in the last video, or if you guys just like me to um, uh, not talk very much at all, like in this video, and just show you guys. Tell me what you like in the comments down below, and uh, tell me what you think. Let's zoom back out here a bit. There we go. So yeah, definitely something great to put in your pack um, or before you go packing or not just packing, but really anything. <laughs> exactly what uh, delayed, delayed says. No risk of losing a life, limbs or eyesight, so. That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you guys. There's there's no sense in not look at this and at least get a good base of operations or you know a base idea of what you need before you end up going out to wherever. So um, anything else in here? Nope, just a bunch of uh, bunch of fluff. Bunch of bunch of fluff. So. Alrighty, well, this uh, boxing was a little different, I gotta say. Um, good or bad? I'm a little picky. <laughs> First thoughts. This year, um, I definitely would have definitely considered this a bonus. You know, for sure. I wouldn't have... Uh, 
pay for this whatsoever. Um, as for, we're going to just go backwards here. The blanket. This definitely does never hurt to have. I, I just really like these. They're great to have. And I'm very happy with this company. Uh, rip packs. This here. Um, I mean, I guess I got mixed emotions about this. Only because, yes, it is great to see something like this. But for as small it is, as it is, and it is two dollars. I mean, the survival blanket's one dollar, practically. Okay, we'll just say two bucks for the for the blanket and three bucks for for this stuff here. Um, personally, what I would have if I would have had to choose between the blanket and this, I probably would have chose the blanket. Because there is there is stuff out there that you could buy, but it does not hurt to have an emergency um, uh, toothbrush. Sorry guys, my brain's just out of whack today. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I like it. It's not one of the greatest things in the world, but I like it. Definitely gets it will definitely get the job done. Um. Oh, another thing. This doesn't have to be just used for um, teeth. And another th reason for that is, uh, like, if you need to clean your gun, and I know this sounds so weird, but you could actually cl technically clean your gun with this toothbrush. I know that sounds just terrible, but. And then these packs, you if you added water, if you figured out a way to add water to these, even if you just put in here and added water, you could make the, you could literally turn that toothpaste into almost a mouth rinse. Um, actually, you can do that with any type of toothpaste, which I think is actually kind of cool, especially when uh, you know you just need something small like this. So. Um, a handcuff key. Yes, where did I put that? Here it is. So the handcuff key. I definitely like this. I, you know, for somebody who has handcuffs, you can never have enough handcuff keys. Um, because either you end up losing them or, um, I had the... I had a little one playing with my handcuffs and we were playing cop, little cops and robbers and she broke my key. How well she put it in there like she was supposed to and turned it like she was supposed to except she turned it way too hard which just snapped that little, just that little, come on focus, there we go, that little metal piece right there on the key. Luckily, I had two other keys, and now I have this one. So, this is replacing that broken key, which I think is great. And then, the flashlight. Um, I also have mixed emotions about this as well. Uh, one is that one for what was it 350 lumens this thing's not that bright I mean of course I'm out here in the light but I mean I mean it's bright I wouldn't consider it my main I've I have flashlights more compact than this um, how long is it I'd say I mean, I got big hands, so you can kind of tell, I don't know, probably what, one, about maybe four inches, five inches long. 
at least uh, almost an inch thick at least from up here um, that's at least an inch thick so um, I'm not fond of the plastic here but I don't know I mean I can spin around I mean it's not super loose but I definitely like this this switch thing where it locks constant on and then flash off and on um, this here I'll still have to figure out oops because I mean, it's almost like a settings mode. And as soon as that pin hits that metal, it turns to full brightness. Hmm. Uh, I'll have to mess with this, guys. Now I'm just getting myself dizzy. Anyways, oh, okay, there's something else. So it's kind of a smart switch as well. So you, when you hold, it's on the temporary. So when you hold it down, it's on its brightest. When you double click it, it turns to its lowest. Okay, I wonder if that works with the... Oh, oh wait, maybe. Okay, so you almost have to half click it. But you gotta be really... There we go. I don't know. That part's kind of tricky. I, if, I, if I was going to do that, I would just do it on temporary. So, um, I will definitely stick this on a video I'm making very, very soon. Well, I say that and it never shows up because I'm not done with it yet. It's still a project I'm working on. Um, this might go in there. I don't think it will, only because I have something kind of like that in there. The survival blanket. Um, I might stick in my backpack. And that's for another video too. I am glad that this did come with um, batteries. And this is actually quite a nice case for double A's. I will definitely be keeping this. And of course, this here is just a little bonus which I really appreciate as well. So, anyways, that is everything, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And, whoops, uh, me and my touchy fingers. I'll just set everything kind of like this. And this will probably be one of the snapshots in a video or something so uh, yeah I'll, I'll figure all this out anyways anyways yeah let me know what you guys think down below and uh, yeah I hope to see you in the next day or next round all right guys see ya